drunken rivalry of two groups turned free for all erupted and the two groups began assaulting each other with whatever was available on hand including vessels, utensils and ladles ended in a murder. The Chaudama temple on the boundary of Hassan and Dakshina Kanana districts point at Bisle attracts a lot of devotees from Puttur and Sulia taluks in Dakshina Kannada and Somar Pet taluk in Kodagu districts. They offer animals like sheep, goat and fowls to the deity. They are slaughtered thereafter and cooked there alone. In accordance with the age-old tradition, the cooked dish is consumed as prasad by the devotees. A group of about 30 devotees from Kudu Raste and Yaslur in Sakleshpur Taluk in Hassan district had arrived at the Chaudamma temple. Another group of about 25 hailing from Puttur and Sulia Taluk speaking in Tulu most of the time also came there having travelled via Kulkunda and Subramanya. After offerings and food, drunken revelry is said to have begun. At a point, the Kuduraste group reportedly indulged in making fun of the Dakshina Kannada group which was followed by arguments and altercation. While washing hands in the stream, some jostling around also took place. Two groups began assaulting each other with whatever was available on hand, including vessels, utensils and ladles. A woman was among the group, it is reported. The group from Dakshira Kannada fled the place in the vehicles they had arrived in. One of the members of the Hassan group identified as 45 years Halappa from the same district. He was severely injured in the head, cheeks, jaws and genital areas. His companions brought him to the Sadanand hospital here. The doctors observing the serious injuries were sure it was a result of an assault. Considering it as a medical legal case, they informed the police. They went to the spot along with the Kuduraste group members. By late evening, Circle Inspector of Police from Sulia and Sakleshpur arrived on the spot for investigation. The Superintendent of Police from Hassan also arrived late in the night. The identities of the persons from Dakshina Kannada are not known. The police jurisdiction of the spot also led to the little confusion. Although the case was first handled by the Subramanya Police, the spot where the incident took place comes under Yaslur police station. A bike and lorry collided at Niraje on the state highway connecting Uppinangadi and Subramanya via Karaba. Two brothers Yogesh and Vigne, sons of Gopal Nekara and Kemara, have been severely injured in the mishap. They were on their way from home towards Atur Golitadi. Yogesh is employed with MRPL in Mangalore, while Vignesh, after having completed his PUC studies in the College of Ramakunja, has secured admission to degree course in the same college. The Kadaba police have registered a case. Mangalorean born Chinese Nansen Liao Shanghua is quite eloquent and the advantage of knowing eight languages including Tulu, Konkani, Kannada, Malayalam, Hindi, English and two versions of Chinese languages is a boon which he treasures as a great deal. His eloquence has come in handy for him as he began to work as a professional interpreter in Mumbai after he left Manglo in 2001. Nelson has also made a foray into Bollywood along with two sons Alan and Daniel and is slowly finding his niche there having acted in five movies and a TV serial so far. With that, Nelson has added acting as an addition to his list of talents that includes being an hotelier, a chef and a professional interpreter. Nelson says interpreting from Chinese to Tulu and from Tulu to Chinese was one of the highlights of his career as an interpreter. Nelson was born and brought up in Mangalore as his parents who had come down from Kolkata were settled in Mangalore. They used to run the first Chinese restaurant in Mangalore, Nanking, located in Milagros Flats, which Nelson was forced to close in 1998. 30 years Hemavati was allegedly kept under house arrest for several years by her own parents at the family home in Malleshwaram in Bangalore. She was rescued acting on information and admitted into the hospital by the city police. State Health Minister U.T. Kader visited the house and issued directions to the officials. When the police led by Deputy Commissioner of Police Siddharamappa brought the lady out of the house, she was too weak to move her limbs. The neighbours as well as the family members admit that Hemavati was of good health and had been good at studies till some years back. It is said that the family decided to punish her because of a love affair with the youth which the family did not approve of. 
parents did not allow anyone to meet Hemavati. Some neighbours who describe Hemavati's father to be a sadist have alleged that the family is now trying to cover up their crime. In a surprising move, President of BSR Congress B. Shri Ramalu dissolved all the party units including its core committee, state, district as well as taluk units. Some sources claim that this step was taken with a view to ensure that no office bearer would be able to question the move of the president in merging it with another party. However, state organizing secretary of the party P. R. Ramesh said that the founder president of the party had taken this drastic move to reorganize the units by dumping office bearers who were involved with anti-party activities, those who showed irresponsibility towards organizing the party and the individuals who clandestinely joined hands with the opposite parties. Once again, the main headlines. Real estate bill approved, union cabinet seek uniformity. World Milk Day celebration, felicitations to Nandini dealers. Mangalore Soumya Kamath confers Institute of Space and Science and Technology gold medal. Drunken revelry at Bisligat ended with one's murder. Bike and truck collision at Miraje, Kemare brothers severely injured. Tulu Chinese Nelson Liao Shenghua shines his multilingual prodigy of Bollywood. Sadi's father kept daughter in dark, Hemawati rescued by police. BSR Congress units dissolved, Sri Ramalu taken drastic move. With this, we come to the end of this edition. For more news, keep watching V4 News 24-7 or you may also log on to v4news.com.